H T J L 90M QV2 QV2 WYT V4S91 RXR86 How you doing, Aaron? Oh, you never seen this one? Uh, you're in for you're in for a tree, I guess. <laughs> this game is hard. It's very hard. I've been playing it for a total of six hours. I'm gonna be doing an infinite life glitch that goes away if you if you take a hard death. Um, I've tried a bunch of times last night after learning the glitch, and um, I have not been able to get to the last stage even. So hopefully tonight is the night. It was so close though last night and I just messed it up. At a conference in Montreal? Nice. I'm actually going uh, a little bit more upstate-ish Catskills area for a little uh, one night, two day vacation for my daughter. Seven. We're taking, to, taking her to an indoor hotel slash park deal. Should be fun. Weather's supposed to be good for the drive up. That's all I care about. Yeah, it's great because it's like normally cold, so and it's a little bit cheaper because it's the fall. And uh, we just didn't know what else to do. You know, I didn't want to like do the stupid bowling thing or whatever. So we decided to do something kind of a little, little special. And uh, it'll be my first time. Um, going to this water park thing, so it should be fun. I also get a three, I'm going Sunday night into Monday. So I get a little extra vacation, a little extended week. So this is, <coughs> this is Treasure Master. So there's a whole history with this game. Um, similar to, uh, I forget what the game was for Atari, but this was um, sponsored by MTV. So they made this game where like you had like 20, like 12 hours to beat the game and you had to punch in this code. And once you, once you beat the game, you call a number and they give you another special code or something and you're supposed to win. I don't know the full details of it, but this is the game that did that. Um, but what's crazy is there's no continues. You get three lives, you do get energy, but certain things kill you instantly in this game. So it's kind of like um, Dragon's Lair, if you've ever seen that game, where the stuff that doesn't kill you just drains your energy down to nothing and other stuff just kills you instantly. This is the same way. Not only that, when you defeat a level, when you defeat a level, um, you don't get your energy refilled and there's nothing to replenish your energy. So when you take a hit, you lose that hit and you're stuck with whatever energy you have. So if you get down to you have no lives and one energy bar, you have to beat the game. But this, the thing is, level six or six levels, level six does have free lives that are easy to get. But there's an in-between part. So the first stage is long. The second stage is is hard. Third stage and fourth stage, it's just not as bad. But you just take so much damage. So it's super hard, and there's no lives. There's no energy. But once you get to like the fifth and sixth level, it just depends on what you got, and you're good to go. Yeah, it, it compares. It compares to that. You'll see. Um, but right now, we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be doing um, a glitch. So if you go down to one energy bar, you look at the bottom left. I have two bars. I'm gonna take another hit here. If you take a hit as you're transitioning, 
you'll have zero health, but it'll actually what's called an underflow. I'm not sure if you're familiar with like programming or whatever, but an underflow means 255 instead of zero. So what happens is you have 255 health and then you can continue to lose health all the way down to zero. So 255 times you can get hit. And that's what the underflow glitch is. Uh, but the only thing is when you die or reset your, your health back to four. So as soon as you take an instant death, let's say you fall, you fall in a hole or a shark that kills you instantly kills you, or you get squished, then it resets and you're back to normal again. So it's a little wild. This is a very specific spot I need to hit. Ah, I didn't quite make it. We'll try that again. It's really, it's really hard to get. You have to be in the perfect frame. You have to kick on the perfect frame on the way down. Really hard, but I usually get it on the second try. I think that's about right. Almost. Nope. Nah. Yeah, so this one's in a hotel, so it's an indoor one. It's um, I think it's a Six Flags deal, and uh, it looks it looks pretty wild. I've seen it. I've been to the hotel because there's a Johnny Rockets next to it, and it's next to the Great Escape um, thing. So the Great Escape amusement park. So it should be interesting. So it might not be the exact one that you're looking at, but it, it's a general idea. All right, we're gonna take a death here. Let's try that again, and hopefully, go from there. Yeah, it's it's so awesome to have a place like that that's like kind of nearby and not too far away. Like I think this place is like a little bit more than two hours to. A little more than two hours, I think. Uh, which isn't too bad. It's pretty much a straight shot. Actually, it's probably not even two hours. It, it might be close to where I am. But I just go north, basically. Follow the, follow the river. Hudson River. Click left at some point to get to... To get to uh, Catskill Pass, Albany, I think. What's cool about it is it's just, it's super simple. It's not stressful. You're in a hotel. So there's, you know, you got food there. Um, you got everything right there. And it's for the kids too. And it's, it's and for me, I just want to hit the lazy river. I'll just be chilling on the lazy river probably the whole time. But the kids do whatever. Hoping I can do this. Gotta find the right spot. Never get that on the first shot. Yeah, see, that's what I want. That's too early. Oh, right. I messed that up. And then we're going to do this again. It's taking me longer tonight. Last time I got a little bit quicker. I had a, tr a chance to go to Syracuse, I think, for a conference for my job, but I was not willing to drive like four hours or whatever, whatever it is to go there to, to do a conference about tech that I could care less about. Not even tech, more like software, 
for my job. So, so. so I said no, and someone else is going. It's like, <laughs> Sit there and watch PowerPoints about productivity, another boring crap. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Annoying. I want to do this when I have extra lives because I will eventually lose my invincibility and then I want to have as much lives as possible to get through the last stages, so that's why this is taking forever. gonna be enough. Yeah. Oh, so speaking of music, so if you're not familiar with Tim Fallon, <coughs> he makes like the best NES music, like ridiculous NES music. Uh and a lot of games. So Solstice is one. Um uh, Silver Surfer, this game bunch of like Commodore 64 games uh, Spectrum Z Spectrum or something like that uh, Super Nintendo Genesis he made a bunch of music that's all it was him and his brother so the music in his game throughout is is, is amazing but it's funny because a lot of his the games that he makes music for the games aren't really that good but this one it really isn't a bad game it's just super hard Super stupidly hard. So close. It's like one frame. And I was doing it too early twice in a row by a little bit. And then too late for the last time. There are actually levels that have a lot of like similar styles as Solstice if you ever played that game on NES. There it is. That's it. Okay, we're good. Right, we're gonna go get a free life. I can never seem to get it without losing at least one life, but that's fine. Now, as long as I don't take any instant deaths, which is falling in a hole, 
or falling on a spike or getting crushed <coughs> crushed by a thing later on in the game and also um there's these grenades on stage three i think that can kill you and that's basically it if you don't let any of those things kill you you can pretty much go through the game un unharmed oh, i'm gonna go Oh no, that ruined it. Just like that. That's the one area that can ruin it. The only area in this, basically. And what stinks is uh, when you walk into those caterpillars, you get launched into the air. Like, I didn't jump. It actually made me jump. And unfortunately, there's a hole right there. Conveniently, We touch it, boom! Oh, I guess not all the time. I guess it depends. Got it. Nice. All right. All right, here we go. Yeah, it's it's pretty wacky. Oh. But it is it is very hard. It's very um fetch questy puzzly type of thing where you get to an area where you can't figure out what to do next, but it'll, you'll need something like a key. Uh, AVGN has a really funny episode on, on this one. If you just search Treasure Master and AVGN, Angry Video Game Nerd. It's, uh, that's actually how I found out about this game originally, because I've never heard about this game. Yeah, so the game has no continues. It does. Some levels do have uh, free lives, which I'm gonna go get right now. Hopefully. I get there in time. There we go. But yeah, overall, it, it's a fun game. It plays nice. Um, like I said, it's just a hard game, that's all. And really, what makes it hard is... Um, is everything shoots you. <laughs> so you end up losing a lot of health. And the fact that there's no way to gain health. And you don't have continues. That's really, that's really it. If you had like a couple of continues, the game would be pretty... Pretty solid. Um, definitely beatable. Did I get the... No, I didn't get the remote. Yeah. But, since they made this game uh, as a contest, I guess they had to make it pretty hard. So when, you know... So I didn't want to give up that money. Supposedly it was like $15,000 or something. Or tickets to a Super Bowl, something wacky like that. Yeah, I don't know. I would I would like some tickets to the Super Bowl. Oh. <gasps> All right. No, oh, that's fine. Kick. Okay. We can do all this stuff. 
Is this is also the kind of game where if you don't look up what to do, you may never get past the first stage. For a, at least for a long time. The first stage is like really long. <laughs> Challenging, but... Oh! <laughs> but luckily we live in a day and age where you can watch people play the game. You can watch world records, speed runs, tasks, and tool assisted uh, runs, game facts to tell you what to do. So you're never really gonna be in the dark. Unless you choose to be in the dark, and then good luck. <laughs> The next game's gonna be Jaws. <laughs> so these sharks can instantly kill you with a bite. So I don't wanna get bit by any of these guys. Yeah, I actually uh, watched the world record speed run of it. Which is good, because that means I can I shouldn't take six hours on it. In the worst case scenario, I'll just learn the speed run strats. This game is very much a trial and error game now. And I've done a lot of trial and error. I mean, we're on hour six and a half. So I've done a lot. Including save state practice. And that's even... I just started doing the, uh, the life glitch like yesterday. So most of this is just trial and error and practicing. No, not using the glitch. But I, I've... I figured it, it's not, I'm never going to beat this game unless I <laughs> exploit bad programming. Since it already has bad programming, I don't feel bad about it. But Jaws, I've never even turned that game on. I've seen it. You know, I've seen the videos, and I, but I've never actually played it, so it should be interesting. Also, um... After Jaws is King Neptune's Adventure. That's an unlicensed game. And I think it's actually pretty decent. And then uh, after that is game 13, which is Heavy Barrel, which is a game I never played, but I tested it out. And it's basically like Super Contra. It, it looks pretty cool. I don't know how hard it is. It could be a very hard game to beat. But uh, it at least looks good, so... It's got like fire, spread, like all the stuff in Super Contra. It's interesting. Then once I beat the th uh, 13th game, I don't have any games after that because I'm going to be doing a day's worth of quick and easies. I've already predetermined what games are going to be. Just a bunch of games that take between 5 and 20 minutes to beat. So we can like just have a day of blasting off, blasting games. Because I seem to be getting a lot of crap or really long games, so... That should be fun. Alright, so we need helmet. That scared me. So there's a lot of areas here where I can lose my invincibility, and I really don't want to. Really don't want to. This is one of them. You'll notice where I'm jumping and where I'm landing, it's like pixel, last pixel stuff.
there is a lot of tough NES games. A lot. Um, I've probably personally beaten between 80 to 100 of them. Some of them really hard. And there's games where I honestly don't know how I'm ever going to beat them. So it, it's going to be tough. But yeah, there's a lot. But it's nice to just kind of get um, a lot of them out of the way just for fun. So hopefully I'm going to be able to get like 10 or so. Maybe more. Um, but it'll just depend. Because there's games I've beaten so many times and they're super easy. And some games that are just short in general. Like, I don't know, play Jeopardy or something. Or something like that. Just kind of nice to get them out of the way. Alright, here we go. Okay, here's a tough spot. Okay. Hey Kai, how you doing? Yeah, I could do something like that. Um, where I could just do like all the Mario's, all the Zelda's in one day. Though the Zelda's will take a long time, especially Zelda 2. Um, but also, uh, next week, Super Mario RPG. I pre-ordered that, so hopefully if I get that on Friday... Um, I'm going to be streaming that Friday night, probably through the weekend, and playing a lot of that game, uh, it'll, which will be nice. It'll take I'll get a break from NES, and I'll be playing the new Super Mario RPG on the Switch, and uh, that should be fun. Eat some dinner. That's good. I just made some... This giant Sam's Club style hot dogs are like huge, really good. Uh, I, I did it up. I did a uh, chili, cheese, the whole nine. And the kids even liked them. I was surprised. They don't like anything. So just made it super, super simple, super basic on the grill as usual. <laughs> Craft mac and cheese does the job. You know what's funny? Is I actually like craft mac and cheese. Right? Like some people like will scoff at me, like, oh you eat that stuff, it's so gross. It's like, no, it's not. It's liquid cheese, man. <laughs> I grew up on all that stuff. My my kids don't like like it for whatever reason. They actually like the Velveeta cheese. So I'll cook the box of Velveeta shells. But um My pantry has like a hundred boxes of Kraft macaroni and cheese. <laughs> Canadian staple, yeah. And I don't, I don't know. I think somebody who says they don't like it, I think they're just being a little snooty. Like they need to come down a notch, or they don't know how to make it. <laughs> it's referred to as KD. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, for me, craft. Actually, <laughs> I grew up. It wasn't always craft. I sometimes it was store brand. So, but if I had the craft, it was nice. That nice yellow, bright or bright orange mac and cheese. There we go. Got 
Gotta have it. Between that, beef ramen, cup soup. <laughs> now I get like those fancy Japanese ramen in a package. Finally stepped up in my life, I guess. <laughs> Drinking strong stuff tonight, so hopefully it doesn't completely obliterate my game. This this level is stressful, except I know a uh, cheap way to get out of here. Oh, the, yeah! Don't let the grenades get me. Oh, that scared me. I got um, Voodoo Ranger this time. Uh, this is called Juice Force. I'm just drinking two of them. Uh, but they are 9.5% alcohol. By volume or whatever they call it. So this got some kick to it. So if I drink it too fast... I might not beat this game tonight. But I usually drink IPAs that are between 7 and 8%. And I'll drink like 2 a night. Not like every night, but you know what I mean. But uh, th these ones got a little, little bit of extra kick. I'll take... Um, I say quality over quantity sometimes. Don't you dare, man. Woo, that was close. Wait, I don't need... I don't... Right, no, I do need to go this way. Okay, this is where I gotta, like, really concentrate, because this is another really bad area. There's a door. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's get the blasters out. Okay. We still got a ways to go. Oh. Yeah, I got lives stacking up. Oh, so when I did the um I did the glitch, I managed to do it before losing a life. Though it took me like four attempts, like four complete uh, continues in order to, to get that. So this is like the super best case scenario. I just need to... I just need to do my thing. There's a really tough spot near the end of this. And then, uh... Well... So I've been trying to like reduce my alcohol consumption. Not that I, I drink a lot, but I drink often more than I should. So I haven't drank all week long. So that one beer is uh, making my cheeks red, which probably wasn't a good idea playing this game.
Don't touch no spikes. We're doing good. I guess I don't need to do that necessarily. I'm also really nervous too. Because I'm like trying to get this game completed and it's so hard. And I already know the areas that, like, here's one. Now oh, this area isn't too bad, actually. Alright, I'll wait for that to come back around. Oh, you're one of those, huh? Ketchup and the mac and cheese. Hold on, where's my, where's my ban? Ban Kai from stream. <laughs> You know what's funny? As much as, like, I don't like that, I've definitely had, like, a hot dog and, like, had ketchup on my mac and cheese, like, next to it, and just totally just ate it anyway, it didn't matter. So, I get it. I know what it tastes like. Okay, here's the part that sucks. Breathe, take deep breaths. In through the nose. Out through the mouth, like Miyagi would say. This part sucks. It's just horrible. I got my helmet on. These stupid vines. We want to go here. Okay. I knew it. I knew it. Damn it. So dumb. That, that's what I was afraid it was going to happen. <laughs> it's stupid, right? Like, you have to let go of all your buttons and hit up and only up. But you have to be in the right spot, so you have to hold right to get to the vine. And you only have, like, a certain amount. <coughs> that's a shame. Because this is almost the end of the stage, and I would have been smooth sailing. All right. I'm right, trying again, I guess. So now I lost my invincibility. So now, now I'm on my own. Come on. Sweet. Now I can't do it. I don't even want to. I don't even want to do this now. Wow! Now I can't even do it. And now I can't even do it. <laughs> what? I just died six times in a row. What the hell? It's just the vine. It's just climbing on a vine. It's so dumb. And it's like the only spot in the game where it's like that. That's frustrating. Oh, man. And then it's, like, pretty good from there on out. And then I just have to deal with this other stage where things crush you. And I can do it. It's, like, still annoying. <laughs> that sucks. That really sucks, man. Okay. And now, I just do it again. Okay, got that without losing a life, very good. It just sucks because you know how long does it take me to get back to that same spot? So it's, let's just kick these things for a second, kick this. So this whole, di this whole like dynamic of trying to jump on this vine Yep. Yeah, you have to hit up. 
And they have to be, I guess... Like, it didn't work there. So what I have to do, luck out? Yeah, it doesn't always work. It's so weird. <laughs> yeah, I love this game. Okay, so... Alright, let's do it again. You know what it is, I just don't ever want to play Jaws, so I'm just going to play this for like the next three years straight. Just to avoid that game. So. Okay. Yeah. Well, now that they better put this game in the next big 20. I'll be ready to go. Come on, man. I might not be able to make it. So I'll just get this one going. Don't jump, idiot. There we go. I'm just going to get the remote, and then we're going to go get the light. So I wasn't going to be able to get that on the uh, next try. What was that? Boom! Take that. That's pretty satisfying. Huh? To kick a caterpillar into 30 pieces. Alright, let's go get that free life. Also, when it comes to uh, the Big 20 and, like, the second eight as well, um, they usually don't care if you... Low. They usually don't care if you uh, do, like, the life glitch or whatever. So, for the second eight that I did, uh, Kid Chameleon has a life glitch as well. It's done almost the same way as this. It just go go about it a little bit differently, but it does the same thing where it's life instead of energy. So you go negative on the lives, and every time you die, it goes from like negative five to negative four to negative three or whatever. Or no, yeah, it goes negative. It increases negatively, negative five, negative six. But if you gain lives, it goes back to zero. But if you go back to zero, it kills you instantly, and then the, the game glitches. I found that out during, not during my race, fortunately, but, um, many games have glitches like that. If this was in the Big 20, it would probably be, like, beat the first two stages. Go, 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 go. Like, they wouldn't make it the whole game. Nobody would... Nobody would, uh, do the race. Yeah, exactly.
especially the second stage. The first stage really isn't a big deal. Yeah, you'll notice that, like, even with the glitch, that second stage is hard to get past. That very end. Third stage, I think, is the mushroom one. That stage is pretty easy if you can um, get there with the glitch. But if you don't, it's almost impossible because you do take hits from, like, everything. Everything shoots you. And you can't avoid a lot of that stuff. So you just eventually end up taking, taking some deaths. That was my own fault. I did not need to do that. See what happens when you get impatient. Yeah, uh, I, I think it is. The uh, wing nuts is the fourth one. The third one is the mushroom. The fifth one is the circuit board stage with the robot that glitches out. And then the sixth one is the carnival stage. Let's see. I'm actually trying to see if there's more than one health glitch area. I don't know if anybody else is ever going to do that, but I wonder if they're... If it's known. Because I can still continue, but might not make it to the next next thing. But nobody plays this game because it's it's just really hard. So there's like not a lot of information about it. That's what make that's what kind of sucks about this game. Many people just don't play it. Health underflow glitch. Yeah, it tells you how to do it. Health underflow glitch. I don't think there is. This person doesn't even use the word health underflow. And lastly, I don't think this is a thing. The treasure master points. Treasure Master guy walked through. Treasure Master NES. I think I'm pretty much screwed though. Wait, what is this? Um. Guides. Oh, it's gonna take me right back. What about Q&A? Nothing. Cheats. Same old. Alright. I guess nothing new. And I don't want to reset the game because I'll have to type in that obnoxious code, so. Now, if you're here in this area, this guy can't actually kill you, I don't think. Okay, he can kill you if you're there, but... Yeah, exactly. Alright. Can't believe. I can't believe, but I can also believe. Okay. Learn my lesson. Be more patient. Which is a problem when... 
you just want to get a game over with. And also, too, when you have that glitch, you start to care a little less, which is not good. Because then you make mistakes, like I did, and then you end up dead, and then... Yes, I'm getting good at that. See how I missed that rope again? Damn, I wish there was just a better way to do that. You know, it's funny, I've never seen an episode of The Office, but I have seen, uh, like, little snippets on YouTube or whatever of, like, funny moments. Seems like a funny show. I mean, I work in IT in an office setting, and I think I'm the only person in my office who, who's never watched the show. It's kind of interesting. scary Oh, there's like a movie, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Off the space and off the sky. I get it all mixed up. I don't have the bomb? What the hell? Did I not get the bomb? Glitched it out or something. You notice how many times I take hits? I'd already be dead twice by now, and I'm only on the first stage. It's tough. All it would need is maybe a continue or two, or a wait, or like at least replenish your energy at the end of the stage, something. But nah, none of that.
Oh, I hate these sharks. <gasps> no! Come on! He wasn't even chopping at me. Damn. Frustrating. I really can't think of anywhere else where I could do this glitch either. Uh. And I can't beat this game without the glitch. Cause I'll never I've never even made it to stage five. With the glitch in hand. Yeah, I don't know. They just do. They're just instant kill things. They gotta be in your, in your area. And you just you just explode. They're baby uh, sharks. From the 80s, man. 80s sharks are different. They're built different. We saw the movies. Man, I can't believe that shark got me. I was trying to be like careful and everything and still messed it up. Yeah, you can shoot that thing with a shotgun. That thing was not planned. Pixel, I guess. Yeah, I've been meaning to watch that movie over again. We were talking about that last night. I've not seen... And I think the first one is probably the best one. I don't really remember the other ones, to be honest with you. Okay, now I get on the first try after losing a life. That's so annoying. Oh, you got it. There's only three of them, right? As far as I know. This is the music, yeah, exactly. Well, a lot of uh, what made 80s movies so good was the suspense, and especially with the music. I mean, it just... Change the atmosphere. Made things super scary. Like, when I think, like, oh, movies that really scared me, I always think of the music. If, of anything. Yeah. When I was in Jamaica, it crossed my mind. Yeah, I mean, just the way we consumed media back then, it was just totally different. It was posters, magazines, and at commercials. And in the, the, the trailers, I should say. And they would be intense. Like, even like the rated R movies, they'd have a, have a trailer and you'd just be like, I need to watch that movie. Oh, let's go get that free life. We're gonna be down one. That's okay. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the majority of movies I grew up watching was um, rentals. And also, like, my grandmother would record everything. And she had HBO 
Cinemax, Showtime. Um, and she would record everything. And uh, on those big old VHSs. So you'd have like Friday the 13th, 1 through 4 on one VHS. And you'd just blast through all of them. And she'd skip through the commercials, you know. <laughs> but she had it all set up. She had like her own little mini blockbuster upstairs. You'd go up there and just like probably about 200 VHSs. And you just, she had it all like... It was like a book, and it was numbered and everything, and stickers. It was funny. But that's how I, you know, got to watch everything. And she had everything. When I say everything, I'm talking everything. You want a Rocky? She's got all of them. Yeah, no, nah, she didn't. But she was a little, little like, oh, don't take more than, like, three at a time. <laughs> Like, she was a little stingy with her movies, but she just wanted to make sure people got them back, which is funny because she never watched them. But it was like her collection. But it was pretty sweet, though, to be honest with you. Because all the movies, especially horror movies, she had all the horror movies. Horror, sci-fi, whatever you want. And that's how I watched mostly everything. Go, 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 go. Okay. And if there was a part two or three, up until that point, on it might have been like, night, get back in the boat. 1989, 1990. So from 1980 to 1990, all those movies. She also collected the Disney movies too. No. Not two of them. Not two of them. No way. Three of them? What was that all about? Damn. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, they all have those hard cake, hard covers. She even had the, uh, the infamous, was that Cinderella one? With the, uh, the castle of phallus <laughs> I think it was it was snow white I think I forget which one it was the one that had a castle on it in the very top of it oh was it the little mermaid yeah that's funny and it was 100% obvious what it was there's not like oh it kind of no I mean we're talking ridges the whole nine it, it was you knew what it was. <laughs> so ridiculous, but it was funny. Right, let's let this guy get out of here. I'm not playing around. But yeah, there's like a whole series on like the stuff that like made it through, like subliminal messages and stuff like that. And you gotta watch them. I actually remember an episode of uh, Daffy Duck. Like we're talking like a 1950s, maybe 1940s, old school Daffy Duck. And in the background, you could see like a duck with her like boobs out, nipples, and everything. Just painted right there, plain as plain as can be. <laughs> Just, it's like what? And I remember seeing that as a kid, being like, "Huh? All right, pause it, take a look," you know. <laughs> Hilarious. Yeah, they they were pretty wild back in the day. Those old fashioned cartoons. They had a lot of pretty, pretty ridiculous stuff that that made it through. Yeah, there's two covers for the, um, the Phallus Palace. <laughs> so they, they did fix it. Which is funny because some people thought, like, it, it, it was just, like, not real. But, like, I know it was real because my aunt used, used to show everybody 
back in the day before they were like when it came out or whatever she would notice that kind of thing and just like show it to everybody c3po yeah i don't know i haven't heard that one wouldn't be surprised though Alright, I've been on autopilot this whole time, now it's time to get serious here. From here on, the game sucks. It's so stressful. We just look where I have to jump and where I land. There we go. Cut the helmet on. Oh, more ropes. I hate ropes. Stress level is ridiculous. There's a little bit of stress with that, but typically, as long as I don't mess that up, I'm usually pretty good. Dude, they put so many things in this game to chip away at your energy. Alright, I can take a sip now. Or, or a gulp. I think that was more of a gulp than a sip. World complete. Your quest continues. Okay. Just... Can we do this? Can we get through this? Stage 2. I can only imagine how many kids bought this game with hopes and dreams of winning that prize and not ever getting past the first stage and just totally just, just breaking everything in the room. That's what I'd probably do. I'd just start punching things. Take the Nintendo, chuck it through the window, probably get my ass beat by my, my mom. This game can make you angry, especially with a time limit. Forget that. Tony Hawk? See, I was good at Tony Hawk. Though, the first one is actually, I think, is kind of hard. Yeah, I think, I feel like the, the first one on the, on the PlayStation was pretty difficult to get, like, high scores because you couldn't chain everything like you could, in, I think, in the second one, where you can, like, do a manual, do a trick manual, flip manual, and do like some crazy combo. But uh, yeah, that one can be really, really tough if you're trying to get all the tapes. Collecting skate, the, the school level where you have to hit the bells. 
when I talk about obnoxious trying to wall ride on a PlayStation One with no analog and it, you just never hit the bells and you run out of time. Yeah, the bell one. That was the worst one on that stage. I've beaten that game a few times, 100%, and that's one that always, like, angers me. <laughs> okay. Let's do it. Now, I have to... Don't let these grenades hit me. So let me think if yeah, let's just do this. Not let's not go crazy. Wait, but if I go to the right No, that's just glasses and I don't need them. Okay. I'm just trying to think of what what do I actually need to get since I can cheese through the doors. That's another tough spot. He can knock you into spikes. Okay. I still get a kick out of that dude's walk. Even with the helmet on, he's like, yeah, I got full mobility in this suit. Look at my walk. All right, continue. Okay, helmet. Let's go. Jump. My goodness. I'm telling you, man, I am on edge with this game. There we go. Yeah, he does. Let's get out of my way. I thought I should start walking. I like I already had that conversation. Just start doing that at work. On my way to my desk. If you're in my way, man, it's just... You're gonna get... You're gonna get something. Alright. We're almost to that spot. I actually had to fill out a survey, and it was the most obnoxious survey I've ever had to fill out about work from home. And they're like, choose one of the five options. One option was to keep my hours the same. The next option was to work longer hours and have work four days a week. The other one was work shorter hours, work six days a week. Um, or maybe there was only four options, but the last option was work from home or work regular hours, but one day a week I could work from home. Like, ooh, one day a week. Wow, you're really, really uh, innovative. <laughs> Let's get some... And I'm thinking, like, why not just do both? I'll work four days a week, and one of those days, I'm going to work from home. And the days I'm going to work, I will work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday in the office, and, and Thursday, I'll work from home 10 hours. Take that. Oh no, don't, don't start that nonsense. Okay. 
Nobody would want six days a week. That's why it's insulting to even ask for that. And we work out of college. What, and I work in IT. Like, what am I doing on a Saturday? Nothing. <laughs> like, seriously. And then to work like five hours or six hours a day and six hours on like Saturday or something, it's just... I mean, unless it's uh, six hours at home, I don't know. It's just, it's just stupid. Like I said, it's insulting. Is that even legal? Yeah, it's legal. We can make it legal with um, contracts. All right, here we go. Stretch. The elbows in. Stretch the hammies. I really don't want to do this. Because I know if I fall, I'm going to be so angry. Two days within 14 days is the rule. Oh, you're saying like just only having, yeah, yeah. Working six days a week. But you're working less hours. <laughs> I don't want to do it. I'm going to, I don't want to do this. Okay, let's go. I don't understand why. No way. You know how hard it is to even get lives in this game? To lose them here? Alright, and then here's the last part that's annoying. There we go. And that's it, and it's the end of the stage, man. Now we're gonna keep going, obviously. <sighs> That's so disappointing. So disappointing. Ah. Oh wow. What's messed up is like I wasn't having problems with that. I knew I know that area sucks, but I wasn't having problems with that last night at all. Alright, so this is world three. Oh no, this isn't the mushroom stage. World four is the mus mushroom stage. Alright, this oh this is the one that has the things that smash you. And wing nuts that shoot. Yeah, the next level is, um, the one that has the, uh, yeah, there's no way to take a hit while falling. No, no, don't take death, or don't take damage. I don't think there's a way to, to do this part.
Ah. Maybe. Oh, that will be hard. Oh, oh, I was expecting that guy to shoot me. Ah, come on. <laughs> Look, I took two hits. I'm dead. It's just hard to not take damage. It's like nearly impossible. This is where I died last last night with the power. Oh, I died, damn. I had to sneeze, so I, uh, muted. Yeah. So that's Treasure Master. It's literally one of those games. It's actually kind of fun, you know? It's nothing too crazy about it. But if you want to actually beat this game, it's damn near impossible. When I say impossible, like, I know it's not impossible. People have beaten this game. But you have to play this game 12, 13, 14 hours in order to be good enough to get past this without losing... Without losing... There's so much in this game that could kill you. <coughs> so I don't know. Just keep trying. I was trying to find that exact frame, and I kept missing it by one. Ah. <sighs> 
I just keep thinking about how many times I came close to having like the best runs and then having like really stupid mistakes happen. And then the amount of time I've wasted just getting back to that same point. That's what like makes me lose like my uh, will to move on. It's just like, oh, I gotta do this again for the next 20 minutes just to get back to where I was. Draining. And the funny thing is, like, I don't even think you could use Game Genie codes. Like, if I wanted to be really scummy about this game, <laughs> like, I think you can't, it won't allow you to use Game Genie codes. I don't think. Oh wait, I guess there are codes you can technically use. If you want it to be scummy, this is climb up from ground. That's weird. Game genie. Enable. Enable. Oh, what? What is this? Infinite energy. Health. Infinite juice for Raygun. Infinite lives. Invincibility, jump in midair, like double jump, moon jump, swim everywhere. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Now, there are actually uh, game genie codes on here. The only one I would even consider using would be the infinite energy one. That would still make the game challenging because you still have to do the platforming. Uh oh, why did my monitor shut off? There we go. Infinite health. I mean, you can have infinite uh, lives, infinite health. But yeah, I can't use game gen genie codes, even though technically I'm using an in-game glitch, which is the health one. That that would be the only one I would consider using. That is true. We're working on the eighth hour. How about this? I'll give it one more shot, and if it doesn't work, I'll use the code to allow me to keep the infinite energy, which means I won't take damage, which I won't anyway unless I die, but if I do die, I'll still have my infinite energy, if it works even, and then I won't do infinite lives. I don't know. That seems fair enough. And then maybe another day I'll come back to this game. Because I can't spend 30 hours on this game. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> I didn't like I didn't give this game a shot, you know? That's true. And it's not like... It's not like people like donated to uh, have me play this game. You know what I mean? I am not making any monetary gains by suffering through this other than I could be playing other games. Um, so I feel like I might be okay with that, but I won't be okay with... Um, so what I'll do... Yeah. I don't know. We'll just do this run. We'll just do this run. I don't think about how I want to handle that. I'll think about it. Maybe I won't have to. Maybe I'll just beat it this time. Do 
You could. I haven't set a precedent on that exactly. Except uh, I won't be playing it too soon, hopefully. Um, at least not until I get uh, Mario RPG done. But if it comes out, I know you got your name on it. Okay, so here we go. We got this. Ah. Yeah, I could like do all the games and just have like, like, uh, like a final boss list, right? Like games that are like, I kind of cheese my way through, but I don't feel good about how I left off, but I want to move on. I could do sort of like, <laughs> I hate to say it, but Dragon Slayer. Like I played the Japanese version because I could cheese the bosses, even though it's the same game. I could, I could put that on a list. I could put this on a list and be like, I, all right. At some point, I gotta get back to the list and beat this game without using the infinite energy code or obviously the game genie code, so. Yeah, those games too. I mean, there's a lot of other games that I know already that they're extremely hard to beat. So, Russian Attack is one. Um, Top Gun 2, Second Mission. That's another one that's stupid hard. Um, there's a couple others. There's a couple. There's a couple others in that list, and then the, obviously the ones that um, are notoriously difficult that I've never even attempted to beat, like uh, ghouls and ghosts and stuff like that, ghouls and goblins. Yeah, exactly. I like that idea, Aaron. Like exactly. That's what kind of the idea but I don't want to have to resort to using game genie if possible like ever I'm I might make a one game exception for this one because I'm already using a glitch to try to beat the game so the game genie is just enhancing the glitch so I'm not using the infinite I won't use the infinite lives glitch or like the double jump glitch or anything like that um, I'm just extending, oops, I'm just extending the glitch that already happens. Yeah, so... Let's just do that now, because I don't have the patience <laughs> to, do, to go through that. So what we're, we're going to do, so the way this works is we're going to go to cheats. I think I actually have to enable them. I have them off by default. Uh, sorry, reset game. Save state. Oh, no, no. I, I, you can't actually disable. You just add them. So then we got to go to the game. So that's in ROM set, officially licensed. This is treasure. Oops, I knew that. Treasure master. I'm not even sure this is even gonna work. To be honest with you, but I'm gonna give it a try. Treasure master. Cheats. All right. So we are going to do the infinite uh energy infinite health uh game genie code that's all we're gonna do is it b a b pad press or oh, hold b right okay so s g k and by the way i do have a spreadsheet it's not a very good one, but I got one going. And at some point, 
I'll make it shareable and I'll I'll have like a keyword for it so people can pull it up so they can take a look to see what games I've beaten, how I beat them, what I used to beat it, that type of thing, how long it took me and all that kind of fun stuff. SGK SGK Cuz like I said, if I really want to like move the series along i would just pick the games and just pick all the games i know how to beat and i and then the other ones that i know that are easy to beat and i'd get like three to four hundred games completed within probably a pretty short period of time i know it would take me forever but like the fact that i i do have like a randomization to it um since you know like i said viewers are low try to get the viewers up um because eventually people will be able to choose which games i play but uh up to that point, you know, it's, it could be pretty miserable if I, if I get like any more hard games like this. Okay. S G K T S G V G. I think this is G V G press select on off. I don't know what that means. Cheats enabled. Okay. That's how you enable. And then I think I hit a to back up. Go out. B, select only. Okay, now if I go to cheats, it's not there. Damn it! It didn't work. That's not how you do it. I think I had to do select and start. It's really annoying to do this. <laughs> it's really annoying. Okay, S, G. K S G K T S G V G I think you have to select and start. Yeah, they have clear conditions as well. I'm actually using that. I'm establishing that first, copying and pasting that into the goals on the thing. So what you see up here for the goal on the, the screen is the same that's actually gonna be in the spreadsheet. So you'll know like, oh, he played the first loop of whatever game it was I played and not all four loops because it takes too long to do four loops and it doesn't add anything to the experience. All right. Now there's no guarantee this code is going to work because game, you know, game genie key codes are not necessarily known for Accuracy. Three H D J L nine D nine D N Q V two. W Y T V four S ninety one R X R eighty six. Alright, with any luck, I did the right code. So we're gonna have to check it out.
It didn't work. Huh. It did not work. It may not have stuck, though. Oh, you know, I think I know why. Options. All right, so there's some obnoxiousness to this to set up. I think you have to select only, then add. Okay. Select only. Then add the cheat. Oops. S G K T S G B G Now I'll know if it works if I hit reset and it's there. Okay. Now it's long, long code. Okay, it's the reset. I didn't even do that. We're gonna hit start. Hit select. And then we're going to do this again. <laughs> uh, okay. But as long as the code works to extend the glitch, I'll be fine. And we'll get through it. It'll probably take about 25 minutes to beat the game. Unless I can't get past the vines again. Hopefully not. Q B Q V two W Y T V four S ninety one RX R Eighty six. All right, let's see. All right, we're in it to win it. I call this the extended super glitch code. <laughs> Hey, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. This game is retarded. And the, the sad thing is I had a lot of opportunities to handle it. But I'm gonna save that for another time. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, handle it. Now I do have the... Oh, dude. I do have the option of getting all the lives too. I should probably just uh, update this here. There we go. We're loud and proud. All right, I gotta go get the bomb.
Now, obviously, I could still lose because I'm not doing the infinite lives code, just the energy. Like I said, the extension of the glitch. That's not promising. Already not grabbing onto the stupid uh, ropes or whatever. Yeah. The day keeps the dragonflies away. Boom. This is heard a really weird sound. Hearing ghosts. Okay. No. Oh, this is still have my infinite energy. See, that would have killed another 10 minutes of my life. <laughs> it sounded like my kids, but they should be asleep. Like a really weird noise, but they're usually asleep by now, but it probably was. Or it was a ghost, one or the other, I don't know. Trying to throw me off my game here. Maybe. I mean, I'm right underneath the room, so it's not that surprising. If one of them was up, especially my my uh, youngest son, be in his bed goofing around.
Okay, now I need um, the helmet. So I got this USB MIDI cable for my piano keyboard, but unfortunately there's no way there's um, no way to play Miracle Piano through emulation or through an actual NES because I would need a custom cable. So I don't know how I'm ever going to do Miracle Piano with an actual piano, which is complete garbage. Is um, like a hundred bucks, two hundred bucks, or something like that. Raid's bumping again. What? <laughs> oh, come on. Dude, that is why it is necessary to have a little bit of assistance from Galoob, if you know what I mean. Like, are you kidding me? Like, what the hell is that? Wow, that's awesome. It deserves uh, me finishing my drink. That was absurd. Those grenades. <coughs> You can actually kill you. Yeah.
talking about some serious nonsense in this game. Serious nonsense. That would have been a reset, and I would be spending another 15, 20 minutes of my life getting back to this area. Not worth it. Not tonight. I think that one chases after you. Yeah, I totally forgot about the helmet. No, come on, please don't do this to me. Okay. Okay. Unnecessary death with the, with the helmet. That was my own fault. And then uh, falling off the vine again. So, and then before that, losing a losing a life. But we're still in it. We got a life. We can get some back. Um, this I have to just be careful not to get squished. And we're good to go. Those things can't kill you by squishing you at least, so. Which is nice. It's just those little platform things that kill you. These guys are really annoying too. Like they turn at the end of the screen, so you have to give them space to turn. And they're really hard to avoid. And they're fast, too. Yeah, the Elmo's, man, they're not playing. Look at that. That was two health. It's hard not to get take damage from that, too, which is why beating this game without the glitch is, like, super hard. Like... That's a life right there I would have lost. Alright, this is where I gotta be careful.
We're doing good though. Like I said, when I I died last night on those, and then I I kept going, I kind of figured out how to get past those a little bit better. I could still mess it up, obviously, but um, I, I kind of figured out because I was standing up too quick and hitting my head on it, which is what was killing me. Yeah, it goes right to the edge. Then he stops at that guy. Okay, we go left. Even though I got infinite energy, I'm still playing the game like I would if I didn't. I'm not just gonna like walk through every enemy, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm gonna pretend I don't have the, the, the glitch on, the code on. Well, the uh, infinite lives, which or are you saying what glitches and you don't know what I'm talking about? I just don't see nothing. All right, so this is the last part for this area right here. <laughs> it's an intended feature. See, now I know how to do these. It's still hard. I can still mess it up. But, so when I was playing this last time and I was, I made it all the way here, I was like, how am I gonna get in there? I didn't realize I just need to tap, get one foot here, wait, wait for the thing to go up and then walk. So I was standing up too soon and that's what was killing me, but it took me too long to realize that. And there's a spare key. That's not even the right key, I don't think. To get in there. So, like, this is all stuff I've done before. It's not like I've never done it. It's just, you know, I need a little help. I get by with a little help from my friend called Game Genie. And this level is actually <laughs> one of the easier levels. It's still hard because you do take a lot of damage. But like overall, it's really, it's really not that bad. There's a couple tough spots. You take your time. The only things that can cause a problem is the flying bees. Like those guys can shoot you, I think. But otherwise, you know, but those guys are annoying too, actually. So this is where, um, oh, hey, if, if you listen to this music in the stage, and if you ever played Solstice, you'll hear similarities. Like it could have been used in that game. It's kind of funny because there's there's some songs like if you ever listen to the complete intro of Pictionary, it's hilarious because it's Pictionary and it has like the most epic intro song ever. I'm probably just as epic as Solstice intro. 
Like, it's insane how crazy good it is. <laughs> Yeah, just, yeah, Pictionary, listen to the whole song. Or what you can even do is go, like, <coughs> on YouTube and search Pictionary NES and then put OST for original soundtrack. And just listen to wh whichever one says intro. I think it will probably have it. And just listen to the whole thing, and you're going to be like, what is going on? They're going to be like, man, can I get Pictionary OST on vinyl? <laughs> it's just insane. He just goes all out. I mean, he goes all out in all of his games. But... Another um, one of my favorite songs. This is Tim Fallon we're talking about. So, uh, Plock, P-L-O-K, exclamation mark, is a Super Nintendo game. That's kind of fun, kind of hard. It's like this robot guy that throws like his body parts. It's really goofy. It's a pretty cool game though. Um, he had he did the music in that game, and one of my absolute favorite songs to listen to is called Beach. So if you want to listen to another Tim Fallon song that'll just like blow your mind, you just search Plock P L O K exclamation mark Beach, and then uh, it should come up or O S T or you know what I mean, like the music. And then just enjoy and also listen to the whole song the whole intro of solstice as well so that is another epic when you think the song's over it just keeps going it keeps going it does some like epic stuff it's, it's insane All right, where am i i don't even know what i'm doing i got sidetracked okay Miami Vice, yeah. Yeah, it does. Wait, did I just collect something and not pay attention to what I'm doing? Oh, the apple, right? Okay. Yeah, the first one has really good music. The second one does too. The third one it wasn't as good, but an overall the soundtracks of Donkey Kong uh, Country pretty solid. I mean, that's that goes without saying it these days. I normally wouldn't do that. <laughs> oh, you listen to it? Yes. It's like, you know what I mean? You just wouldn't expect a song like that to be the intro of a Pictionary. It's like... <laughs> Where's the apple? But even like the Sil Silver Surfer music is really good. He did that that uh, soundtrack as well. Alright. We're going to be uh, moving along pretty nicely now. Kick, kick. I had an opportunity to go to Niagara Falls. See, the thing is, my job, they have, we, we go to these uh, conferences sometimes, and um, it's just a conference with the companies that create the software and stuff for our college. 
and they have like these events. The events are terrible, but they're always in like really nice places. But um, I think that they have one in uh, ooh, in Niagara Falls, and uh, you can actually go check out the stuff when you're there for like two days for the whole weekend. Yeah, the last one was just, like, in Syracuse or something. I was like, I'm not doing that. I am not doing it. But, it would be an all-expense-paid... Oh, no, it wouldn't be. What am I talking about? It would not be an all-expense-paid. The event would be paid for... But I'd have to rent a car, pay for hotel. I'd have to pay for all that stuff, even though it'd be on company time, company money. So I usually say no. Boom! See, that stage is super easy. Nothing to really get you there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they, gi they give you, like, a certain amount of money per mile for your car. Or whatever. You just, like, I drive a Chevy Spark, but I would not want to drive that on the throughway because I mean, it's a freaking cardboard box, essentially, with wheels. <laughs> but, uh... I think um, my coworkers, they, a bunch of them are going, um, and they rented like a Yukon, like a big old Chevy Yukon or whatever. Whoever makes the Yukon, I don't know. Okay, so now we're here. Bang. All right, so I haven't played this stage in so long. I kind of. I forgot what I had to do. I think I go this way. This is not feeling right. Yeah, that's not right. Yeah, we're having a holiday dinner too at some like fancy restaurant. We usually just have some sort of like get together on campus. Um, but we decided not to do that because we want to invite, like, re retirees and stuff like that from a, a year or two ago. And, like, I don't really want to go. <laughs> you get a 40 bucks for your your dinner. Man, I don't know. Bah humbug. I can't even drink. What's the point? <laughs> oh, I need a bomb. Yeah, can I kick the spider? Oh, I can't. Oh, no, I can't walk it to him. Yeah, work from home, it's sort of like, because you're accustomed to not have to, like, deal with that nonsense. So when you have to, like, you know, be a part of a team, you're like, yeah, I don't really want to. I don't really care. I already have, like, issues with some co-workers. Not bad issues or anything, but it's just, like, I'm not a big fan of them kind of annoying and they have just like you know with any job you go through there's always going to be some sort of like politics going on between like your department and another department like oh those guys are always this man those programmers make too much money i've had literally people complain about me making too much money who make more money than me so it's like shut your face <laughs> you come to me to help you and you make more money than me, but you think I get paid too much. That kind of a deal, but... Yeah. It is what it is. Whoa! Come on, uh, MTV! Boing. Okay, we're good. I'm winging it I don't really remember what I have to do here. They had to put shoes on? I used to make jokes all the time. 
be like, oh man, you know, if I was working from home right now, I'd be wearing slippers, and my bro on. I may or may not have even brushed my teeth or showered that morning, you know what I mean? Got the coffee brewing while I'm starting on my computer. <laughs> You're just like, ah, well, I'll wash later. I gotta work out later anyway, I'll wash then. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Do I even need to do this? Yeah, I could do this. Like in the wintertime, my dining room um, doesn't have heat, so I have like a, an electric, like, uh, fireplace heater for that one room so uh, when I used to work from home I had my desk set up in there and uh, I would have uh, a full like, robe I, you know I'd have clothes on obviously it's not ridiculous but I would have a robe over me and slippers that I would slide into my desk and work all day and most of the time I, I didn't even get dressed like it was like 5 o'clock Days over and I'm still wearing the same crap I woke up in. <laughs> yeah, I would do the same too. Well, you know, half the time, the meetings that I went to, like I, I'd had a lot of team meetings. Um, most people didn't like to have their camera on, so I would just stop using my camera. Wait, do I need to do this? Where am I going? Yeah, exactly. They go fluffy robe. That thing was nice. I have no idea what I'm doing. But it was nice though. No doubt. It was cozy. Okay, here we go. Here's here's where I'm going to be very angry if I glitch out on this game. did it it did it are you seriously kidding me right now oh man jump no i mean luckily i got extra lives i'm just going man i got infinite energy what am i playing around for This whole area is just ridiculous. It did it as soon as I dropped down, you saw me bouncing like crazy and it ended up having me fall down. Luckily, like I said, this just, <laughs> this game, it's not the worst, the thing is, it's not the worst, it's not like the buggiest game I've ever played. There's a, there's a lot of games that are really buggy, um, but this one, because it's so hard to have buggy things happen to you, it's super frustrating. I don't have the uh, things. I'm missing stuff. I did not go the right way. I don't know. Okay, no. Here we go. We got it. Um. What is up here? Dude, I really don't remember. What is that? Okay, there's a bomb. Okay.
Right, I need to get three of those. I still have two lives up, so I'm good. Um, I didn't care. Oh. Right. Okay, now we're good. I mean, this is a cool level, without a doubt. Oh, there's a remote. I can get that. But it's buggy. There's too many bugs in this game. Or this nonsense. Maybe I had a kick. I don't remember what I did to figure this out. It like doesn't make any sense. I had this problem before. Maybe I had to have the switch. I guess. I don't know. I'm just mashing buttons at this point. Yeah, I thought I kicked it too. Alright, so we're good. We can get out of here. You know, honestly, I kind of thought about doing, instead of, before I came up with the idea of doing the NES run, I kind of thought about doing a uh, different console and PlayStation being one of them. The problem with PlayStation is a lot of the games are CD-based, which means I'd be getting copyrights for almost every, every game I play. Oh, what the hell is this? Huh? Oh, no. The code wasn't correct. Because, and it's like the easiest stage is the last one. Came over, huh? Hold on. Three H D J L nine D N Q. V two W Y T Y T V four S nine one R X R eighty six But no serial code
I had to have put in the serial code. No way. Huh. Well. It was the right code? Did I not put a serial code in? It just gave me a bonus stage at the end instead of the thing. I don't know if it was the Game Genie or not. It could have been. Review the footage. I can't, that's the problem. I have no way of going back while I'm still live. Um, hmm. I mean, technically, it's not, I can look at it as I didn't get the best ending. Call it a game. Is that GG? I mean, that's not my problem. <laughs> so basically they said you have to put in the code, which I read it through, it looked exactly the same. And you have to have a serial number, in which I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we didn't do the clown stage or whatever. That's, that's how you know you get the final stage. But what's messed up is it say you did that and you're doing the race. Um, you're supposed to call the number with that code. And then they give you, no, they give you the code technically. I guess I'm going to be the serial number. I don't know. I, I'm not appreciating this game's glitchiness. So we're going to, we're going to call it. For now, I'm gonna have to play this game again anyway. But I think we we've ran the gambit of annoyances with this game between the uh, glitches and the fact that it wouldn't let me do the last stage, even though I have the correct code. It's possible I didn't do the serial code, but I always do, so I don't know why. Um, but we're, like I'm fine with with that. So I say. Let's let's play a little bit of um I don't know how to play the game, but let's I'm gonna switch everything over and we're gonna play some Jaws. That's gonna be